Ferdo, I thought that was you. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Crowded, but we got some mullet, we got some shrimp, we're gonna see what we can make happen. Snap runs. Oh, Alright, yep. We got one hooked up here. Oh. Muttons. Alright, Dave, I'm starting off here. Little guy. Goes. Come on. Nah, it's on my little rod. He's not big. Hey, buddy. Coming out. He's coming out. Little baby mutton. Jimmy, you gotta get ones like I catch. These you can just you can just reel them right in. That is true. Yeah, that is. That was the right move. Dave, let me see what happened to that ladyfish I gave you. Hey, you want to see it happen? That's what you get when you right, fish stuff. You're taking a picture or video. We'll take a picture out of it. That's what the ladyfish turned into. Absolutely. <laughs> Look at the teeth on that thing. Let's give you bites to go pro. Probably, uh, probably a bad idea. Yeah, <laughs> might crush it. I just caught a beautiful little girl. guy. Yeah, shake it. Better than the ones I've been getting. No. There you go. Oh, he's digging in there. Man, they, they so have the advantage. I got, that's a good one. Dave, grab a net. Oh, he had me all up in those pilings. Yeah. I just never really fought him. So he's so full of life right now. Woo! Got lucky on that one. Oh man, I got lucky. The piling. Oh Dude, I was through the pilings and I could see my knot of my fluorocarbon job, barely buddy. sticking out. If that braid touched it, it would have been done. Thank you. There he goes. Broke me. Okay, you done with All right, let's see where we're at. 30 inch snook. That's the dinner fish right there. Gonna go pop them to bleed them. 
There's this little thing right there. It looks like a little piece of spaghetti. That'll do it. These snook are always hanging out with the Kuberas. And his last request, he wanted to spend his final minutes with a Kubera. That's the trophies for the day. <laughs> Kuberas and snook. Uh, oh yeah, he's got the snook hat. I got no hat on. You need to make a Kubera hat for me. Sharks on him, Birdo. Get him. Yeah, on, oh. Come on. I'm down, Daniel, son. I'm down. Hey, not a no, win. Alberto's hey. distracting the shark. There's both sharks in here. Oh. Right. Keep it red. Keep, keep going, guys. Fly down. Slide, slide. Go, go. Yeah, bud. We got people waiting behind me. Birdo, I thought that was you. Oh! Oh! oh. All right, so the bull shark's out there. Hopefully there's not another one real close. I got another little snook. Yo, you need a red? Yeah. Oh, rod? <laughs> yeah, here you go. Is this a flippable red on this rod or should I net it? Net it then you save. Okay. Oh, there you go. Can you just pass me that net? Thank you. Hold on, Joe. Second when you finally get a nice keeper on. Dave, you trying to put three in there? <laughs> I know, I'm waiting for it. The sharks are going to be all over that thing. Hey, what's happening, Joe? What's up, Nino? What's going on, man? Good one. It might be a shark. No, that's him. Mm. That might be a... No, that's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. Oh, shit. Okay. okay. Hold on. It's coming up top, Joey. You got to go on it. Oh, it was a shark. Shark. It was a red fish. Oh. The shark got it. Oh, red. man. Yeah, red. He now look at what I got going right on. There. We got umbrellas flying around. Elbow to elbow. This is why people come to Sebastian. It's the good stuff. So that's it, we're wrapping up for the evening. Caught a few snook at that crazy shark encounter. Sun's going down. It's time to get home. So the snook bite really wasn't good. Uh, it was pretty slow. I got lucky, got a few fish and one of them ended up being a keeper. Uh, I do got to give a quick shout out right up there to Brown's Taxidermy for that tarpon. The uh, thing looks fantastic. Loving that thing. Uh, I'm going to go over the gear real quick for you, show you guys what I'm using because I know a lot of people always ask that in the comments section. And we're going to go down here for that. I was using two setups in this video. Here's the bigger setup. It's my Salt X setup. It's a 9.5 foot Salt X surf rod. This rod will be out pretty soon. Uh, it's a pretty flexy rod, but it does have some backbone to it once you get into it. Uh, great for casting far, really good for throwing swim baits, live bait, or even uh, pl uh, plugs. Um, there's an 8.5 foot version, and then I think a 10.5 and, and an 11.5 even. Uh, the reel is the Salt X6000. This is a fully sealed reel. You can put it underwater, turn the handle. It's a really, really durable reel and very powerful reel also. Uh, the smaller setup right here is my Tsunami Carbon Shield, seven and a half foot. The reel is uh, Tsunami, what was this one called? I can't remember, Tsunami Shield. Uh, Tsunami Shield 4000, and uh, I got 20 pound Invisibrate on both of these reels, and when I'm snook fishing, I'm usually using 30 pound fluorocarbon at the inlet, and that's what we were doing in this video. Um, but that's the reel. That's the other reel. There's two rods, and I will have the line classes for the rods in the description of this video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Later.